And we've got the Yilan banner final release to the public eye. Now, Yilan is definitely a character to look forward to. Most of us are already looking forward to this character anyway. But the four star units on this banner aren't the greatest of all time, personally. Barbara, average unit, Noel, average, and Yonfei, average. Actually, Noel can be above average. If you put that husk set on her, the new one, that is also something to consider. Now, the four stars for a new player, a, you know, player that just came into the game, is not the best. But if you want to get Yilan anyway, you actually, you know, it's fine. You know, the banner is fine if you want Yilan and Yilan only, right? But the rest of the four stars are pretty much not what you want. Now, Yao's banner is pretty much the same as Yilan's banner because they are coming at the same time. But this is obviously Event Wish 2 and this is Event Wish 1. Which is pretty interesting to me why they decided to, um, you know, jumble up them, you know, together anyway. But it's the same thing. They're coming at the same time. Rerun and kind of cool. So if you want Xiao, you also have an opportunity now. Now, the thing is, this weapon has finally been revealed. The weapon banner. It's coming alongside the Primordial Jade Winged Spear. This weapon banner looks pretty good, actually. You've got the Lithic Spear in there, you've got the Sacrificial Sword, as well as the Bow, and you've got the Favonius Greatsword. Obviously, the Eye of Perception is something you want to avoid, but it's there anyway to haunt your dreams and ruin your day. <laughs> but the weapon, the Aqua Simulacra, I think I said that correctly, is a pretty good weapon, which we can see right here. It has an 88 0.2% crit damage. Now, the value of this is equivalent to that of Ito's 5-star signature weapon, which is a big deal because it has a lot of crit damage. And the base attack is really low, actually, for a 5-star weapon, which is something you don't want to see. But here we are. And the passive, your HP is increased by 16% permanently if you have this weapon equipped. As well as if there are opponents nearby, this weapon will do 20% increased damage which is awesome obviously for r5 32 percent on the hp and 40 percent on the damage dealt increase uh, respectively now the thing is with this bow it you can give it to any character and it, they will deal 20 percent increased damage and they will have 88.2 percent critical damage so this weapon is not only for yelan even though it is hp increase it's not only for Yilan, so if you do end up summoning for this weapon, you could use it on other characters if you really wanted to. But just know the base attack is actually pretty low. I think we covered pretty much everything. Now, would I recommend, you know, new players to get this banner or to summon on this banner rather? Well, if you're a new player, I don't think I would suggest personally because, you know, you got the five stars and you've got the four stars. The four stars aren't the greatest, but the five stars are pretty good. Yilan is probably going to be a really good character. So if you do have enough pity to get a five star, then maybe I would say you could. Because the four stars aren't the greatest of all time. Barbara's just a healer. That's it. That's all she does. And Yonfei is a good DPS character, but there are more suitable options and more fun options personally. Of course, Yonfei has an amazing C4 shield. If you can get Yonfei C4, then I would say this is an excellent banner because Yonfei's C4 shield is pretty big. And Noel is pretty awesome too, but obviously he isn't the greatest of all time. And I know that a lot of people do like Noel and I do think that she could be a really good character, but you need to invest a lot in her in order for her to be really good. But in a Geo team, she's going to be excellent for you anyway. And uh, yeah, she's probably a better Ito, to be honest. <laughs> she is a better Ito, to be honest. Now, for Yilan and Xiao, Xiao is an excellent character. I can make a really good point that he's one of the best characters in terms of DPS in the game. He's going to hyper carry everything. So definitely a character to consider when you are summoning on these banners. He's an awesome character. I love Xiao. And I think I covered pretty much everything. The weapon banner is actually pretty good this time around. So if you do you decide to summon on it, it's not the worst decision you would make. Uh, so yeah, don't worry too much about that. But yeah, that is going to be pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video if you guys liked it as well. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.